Yeah, Trump definitely does envy, like, Putin for that. Like, for Putin to just be able to do whatever he wants. Yo. Who and, like, do- get away who, with shit. Who doesn't, dude? Me. I value fucking liberty. I yeah, value, you value the press, liberty because you I need love liberty. The press. You have the ability to I love the be press. a fucking autocrat. You would do anyone would do it. No, anyone would be an autocrat. No, yes they would. I'm like George Washington, dude. <laughs> I'm just here to. <laughs> so you just have like, some slaves on the low and just. Fucking... Yeah, I'm gonna fucking get some slaves. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be an autocrat at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You yeah. rule your household, and you know. I don't know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, Yo, I think he does admire people that are like, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do this however I fucking want to do it. But I also don't think, like, the guy's never... I don't know. I don't know politics. I don't, I don't, like, don't want to go down this fucking hole. I don't care about politics. I, I don't know like, anything about it. I'm more into the human side of it to where, like, when they'll blame, they'll be like, well, Russia, uh, like Putin, how, many, how come so many of your political enemies end up dead? And he just straight up said, like, coming from a country who's... Have had presidents assassinated? Yeah. He's like, yeah, man. Basically, it's like, shit happens. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, okay, next question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. People hear things they shouldn't hear, and they have to... I mean, dude, yeah. Hillary Clinton has... They're, the two people supposed to testify against Hillary Clinton, their fucking house exploded. <laughs> George George uh, <laughs> Bush Sr. George Bush Sr. Is that true? <laughs> yes. Bush Sr., the Clinton body count. Dude, you're ridiculous. my Fox News, just so you know. I'm I don't watch you. anything, so I'm dependent on you for I just go of off of the internet. You gotta watch that. That's well, dangerous. Is it George I, Bush Senior? George Bush Senior's uh, the guy. His what's a cardiologist? His his heart doctor just got killed in a bicycle to bicycle drive by shooting. That guy rides his bicycle every day to work. Someone pulled up on a bicycle, shot him three times, pedaled away. No one knows why. His cardiologist, but George Bush Senior's in home, in home like the guy the cardiologist that comes and sees him or whatever. Dude, the old Bush in the wheelchair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His cardiologist just got That's shot. That's because he sexually harassed all those women. Who? His cardiologist? No. Senior. He was dude, grabbing butts. That's nothing, dude. Finally, the feminist took control. Please, dude. Oh, dude, yeah, got on a huffy yeah. and executed his he cardiologist. Helped, he helped set up the JFK assassination, <laughs> but, dude, the guy, it's just weird. All he, like, my cardiologist isn't going to get shot on a drive by bicycle shooting out in, like, the suburbs of Texas. Yeah. You're in an affluent neighborhood pedaling your bike, and some dude pulls up on a bicycle right on the way to work. Yeah, like, he knows pop, your route. Pop, 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 runs away. Yeah, that's no robbery. So that shit happens all the time, dude. It's bizarre. This I'm is saying, great. I'm just this saying. is great watching you listen to him talk. You're, you're just the guy. Saying, I'm, I'm you're telling the dude, you because I want to believe it. You're the dude who started the CIA. Like, I want to believe that. Yeah. You're the dude who started the CIA, and your heart doctor and a bunch of other people connected to you just get killed randomly. It's like it's bizarre. It certainly is strange. It certainly is. It is. I agree. It what is. if bullets just rip through this fucking room? Right now? <laughs> you keep fucking with but me. But that one would day make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in this neighborhood, yeah, that right? makes perfect sense. Yeah. Um, it's pretty peaceful. Around but that, here. Po- yeah, it is absolutely. I haven't heard one gunshot. Yeah, you in could, two you years. could get a couple of guns. You could hear them though. occasionally. You could. I uh, that Putin thing. It mm-hmm. reminded me of. I think it was with Oliver Stone. He did those interviews, and they were like, or maybe it wasn't with Oliver Stone, but it was one of the interviews they were asking him about Russian interference with the U.S. election. And he was like, again, he said the same thing. He was like, "This is. do you think the U.S. meddles in other people's elections? Exactly. And he's like, we didn't, but do you think you guys do? Yeah. Literally. Anyway, next question. <laughs> like, Dude, he shuts it. I, I uh, like watch Putin. And I'm like, damn, he's kind of sick. When you watch him interview, it's, he just doesn't bullshit. He's just like. Right now, Dairy Queen's jerking off, going nuts He's right getting now. mad right now? Is he's he like, fired up. Does he like Putin? No, he, he'll delight in the fact that we like Putin. I do. I like. I Who's like Dairy this, Queen. This fucking internet My thing, it's liberal like, troll <laughs> talk shit. It's pretty funny. I like him, man. I'm not gonna, you know. You like Putin? I like the way he talks, dude. You like the cut of his jib? Yeah, I like the, I like the cut. Of his jib. <laughs> so you like, you know, invading Ukraine? You down with that? They try to hand him the uh, FBI report during the thing. They're like, "Well, here's the report saying that, like, you know, there was collusion or meddling." And he goes, "Like the, the guy goes and hand it to him. He goes." Laughs at him because put it over there. <laughs> so fucking funny. Again, that was another thing. We were every all the liberals were like, we shouldn't be dealing with Russia. They invaded Ukraine, all that shit. And then when they asked that to Putin, he's like, "How did Iraq go for you guys?" Yeah, and it's yeah. like, uh, never mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, shut up, dude. Shut up, dude. Yeah. Chill. Of course chill, they don't chill. want him. Yeah, but we're different. <laughs> yeah, don't be gay. But he, uh, yeah. they're having. He's having him at the White House now. Putin's everyone, coming to the White everyone, House. Everyone's everybody's like, going what the crazy. Fuck's he doing? About that? And yeah. what's Trump do? He goes, "I'd like him to come into the White House." Everyone's going to freak the fuck out. I don't have a problem with the, the head of Russia coming to the White House. Why would that be a problem? It was yeah. The CIA controls the media, dude. That's why. It's not a problem. That's the thing. So I was going to say, you've done a bunch of that? very bad things, and there's this ex-KGB agent with a bunch of power now who knows everything you did. Now he's in the mainstream. It's not a good thing, dude. 
The CIA got JFK assassinated. That's a, that's in control. It's like that's a fact. Whew. They lied, dude. <laughs> they lied and said he got shot once. He clearly got shot in the throat and in the head. And they came out forty years later and they were like, "Well, he did get shot in the throat too." Upon reviewing it, it's like, probably yeah. I'm telling, dude, look into that shit. It's insane. Nine out of ten Americans in the sixties and seventies, or where, I get, when did he get shot? When did JFK? Sixty three. That right after that, they polled Americans, and it was like nine out of ten Americans didn't believe like the single bullet theory, the shooter from the hill. But now, this dude, back in the day, you could get before they didn't see like foresee the internet coming out. You could cover yeah. shit up, and now all this shit's coming out, and people are freaking the fuck out. Yeah. What do you think's gonna happen? I don't know, man. I have no idea. Well, I, Putin. I, yeah. I don't know. think we're gonna. Yo, this is one thing I checked. Uh, Vegas has odds for the next president. Mm-hmm. And it shows who, because Vegas is pretty good at that. Yeah. At like who who's going to actually win. Mm-hmm. And when you see the Democrats, who they could trot out, yeah. it's like holy fuck, Trump's a hundred percent going to win. With right now, there's no one. Yeah, there's literally no one. Yeah, the, he's definitely going to win. Again. There, there's yeah. like Alec Baldwin has a better chance of becoming sure. president. He has better odds than like Hillary Clinton. If like, he ran and crazy. debated Trump playing Trump's character, that he would might be pretty win. well. That would be pretty yeah. fucking funny. That would be funny. That would be so fucking funny. <laughs> Dude, him debating Trump as Trump, that would be fucking great. Wrong. Like two guys just going wrong, wrong. Trump, Trump, like would, Trump would stay in the pocket. Oh, oh yeah. He Trump would be like, remember those voicemails when you called your uh, daughter a pig? A He's like, that's the only thing I agree with you on. Your daughter is a pig. <laughs> Dude, we Dude were, he would he would fucking box him. Oh my in. god, he'd be he like, yeah, yeah I can do this all day. Yeah, I'm the president, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are your sons doing? Your sons are losers. Bi- <laughs> Biodome sucked. <laughs> Total failure. Ruined Pauly Shore's career. Pauly Shore was a great American. He's actor. my new running mate, Pauly Shore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that when uh, when those like you see ten female comics in a row that night. We were watching stand up uh, and. Yeah. Uh, it was, and every single one of them was like, ah, Donald Trump, fucking orange idiot. We were like, dude, if Trump walked out, oh, and dude. like if Trump got to re- rebuttal, like had a rebuttal against every one yeah. of these comics, he would murder them. Especially yeah. if it was a black crowd. Dude, if oh he came God. out, oh my if God. a bunch of women came out and were like, ah, I'm sick of Donald Trump, and he came out and he was like, I don't know if you heard that fat turd talk about me, but that was like, <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dude, the fucking, the ceiling would crack. Oh was, the God. laughter would block Dude's running up and down tables. the aisles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. A lot of lawyers love cocaine. He was like they a real estate lawyer or something. No, yeah, I'm talking man. shit. I don't know. This is <laughs> this is, uh, no, no, one, no one's going to fact check. You can say anything. All right. So this, uh, yeah, this this guy killed this lady and left Definitely. her in the hot tub. So but anyways, fucking... he was so fucking when they interviewed him. But even now, he's like, yeah, you know, it's like it doesn't even, it seems like it doesn't even, it doesn't even affect him. He's like, yeah, they found her dead, you know? <laughs> Poor girl. Poor girl. <laughs> you know? Sweet girl. Yeah, sweet anyway, girl. Gonna uh, miss her. Uh, Tan- it's Tanya, like, uh, Tanya, Tanya, Tanya. It's like, what's it? What's the name of the river? Skookle. Chappaquiddick? No, the fucking Kennedy. Uh, Chapa- Chappaquiddick? Chappaquiddick? Yeah. Yeah, that was. What happened? It was a Ted. cover up. Was it Ted? Was it Ted Kennedy? Ted Kennedy. Yeah, he drove, uh, drove like a hooker off a bridge or something. You know, she was alive for a while. She found like a pocket of air to breathe in. Yeah, Could dude. have been a body switch. Could have been a CIA body switch. Dude. You think that was... No, I think Damn, that was just dude. a lady that died. I don't trust anything with the Kennedys, dude. That, that's a whole family again. Everyone, the guys... The guy's fucking plane explodes right before he's <laughs> yes, running for I Senate. Yes, I got him going on. Dude, the, dude. the Kennedy family, they all got, they all got iced. Dude, you're like a fucking conspiracy hibachi chef. Like everything somebody says, he's like, "Yeah, check this out. I'll fucking make that." <laughs> Tossing it right near your house. You me and John are on the other side of the table. Dude, yeah, imagine, yeah, imagine if, how many people in your family? Five. Okay. You, I mean, brothers and sisters. Yeah, all together five. Imagine if like four out of them got murdered. Like, so imagine you get murdered. Yeah, yeah. Your brother's plane explodes. Your other brother drives off a bridge, and a fucking girl dies and drowns. And oh. he walks and becomes a fucking senator. Yeah. yeah, man. <laughs> That's like Yeah, you're right. It's weird. Horrible. And your brother was running against Hillary Clinton and his plane explodes and then she takes the Senate seat. Yeah. Pretty strange. Yeah. Especially the Kennedys, too. It's like they were all mob tied. You know Woody Harrelson's dad was a hitman? Yes, I didn't know <laughs> that. Isn't that fucked up? <laughs> I did know that, yeah. Dude, I didn't know that. It's fucking sick. He got murdered, too. Who did? Woody Harrelson's dad. Damn. 
allegedly involved in the JFK assassination. What? Woody Harrelson's dad shot JFK? He was involved. Dude. You heard it here first, episode 89. Dude, he was all involved. The mafia got tied up with... You know how like, the mafia got tied up with the government after World War II? Yes, and well, during after, World War II. When that boat got sunk. I forget what, what boat it was. And the, the government went to the mafia like, can you guys use your connections to like, get us into the ports easier? Like, well, right. to protect the docks, they hired the mafia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you have to watch a documentary I watch. I'd love to have you Snopes it, dude. Because you know history. I don't know history. I watch yeah. it. I'm like, this kind of makes... I just Google stuff while I watch it. Did I watch this documentary? It's like the, the mafia got involved with the CIA. And then they took like... Um, Giacano was like one of like the lead mobsters. And they let those guys kind of start running with the CIA. That's how the CIA got all into like smuggling drugs and stuff. Really? Yeah. That's Bill Clinton was... They were flying all the cocaine. <laughs> they were flying all the cocaine into Arkansas. The CIA yeah. was flying... And they, they were sending weapons back to the Sandinistas. Yeah. That's all documented. Did you ever fact. see? Really? Yeah. It was fucking Bill Clinton was the governor allowing all this shit to happen. Meanwhile, Crooked Hillary's pulling the strings behind Did the scenes. Did you scene. see uh, that? Dude, I'm telling you, watch that, this fucking thing. The Tom Cruise movie's about that. Yeah. It just came out. It's, it's about how it's he real. got hired by the CIA to fly drugs and am- or, Well, he would fly cocaine back, and then when he would return, he would bring back a ton of ammunition. Pablo Escobar, and arms. yeah. And then he would fly back Sandinistas to Arkansas. They trained him to in train. fucking Arkansas. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's all, it's fact. It's none of this is It is fact. It's a fucking Hollywood movie now. Yeah. I have to check that out. I mean, that's the, movie, the thing is, I don't movie, fucking know though, Tom Cruise's character, the CIA doesn't know that he's, it's like Pablo Escobar yeah. is like, we need you to bring weapons back to us or we'll kill you. And he's like, okay, I guess got to fly weapons back now. So the yeah. movie, yeah, the like CIA, the CIA wouldn't know just about be the like, weapons. yeah. Yeah, the CIA definitely looked at the script. They're like, hey, yeah, this part, yeah. I want to fix this. Well, guy if the CIA out. owns Fox News. They probably own... they don't own Fox. Fox News is owned by military intelligence, dude. Oh, who so. who owns what does CIA own? CNN. Pretty much all the other ones, yeah. Yeah. Operation Mocking. They probably right, control the the they, studio that made that movie. Well, they're they're the way it all comes down to that Operation Mockingbird thing. Yeah. To where like they were they had a uh, like a Senate hearing, I guess it is, being like, do you guys have are you paying people to work inside of uh, the press? And the press. guy literally looks at his lawyer and goes. I'd like to handle that in the private discussion. Thank you. And they do it twice. Like, do you pay news medias? And he was like, uh, I'd, I'd like to do, take that in the private session. Thank you. So like they definitely fucking did it. Because you ever see the thing where they yeah, you chop up? say no if you didn't. You say no. Yeah. Just lie, dude. Just be like, no. Also, it's weird to be like, can we chat? Can we, can we chat later? <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in talking. a hearing, be like, yeah, we're going to talk about that. Off. Or he just yeah, like, yeah. walks yeah, up yeah, and he's like, like Yeah. <laughs> Or he's like, no, dude, fucking, and then winks at him. He's like, just chill for a second. Like, you're on camera, sir. He's like, it all makes, it all, to me, it sounds wildly conspiratorial, but it all, to me, it sounds wild to be like, no, we've just been run by mm, good boys all this time, and everyone's looking out. Dude, if you give me unfettered access to, like, money, running areas, I'm going to become a corrupt psycho. Oh, like, I'll be a bad guy. Psycho, you're dude, corrupt like with the little, with little patch bit of that I got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got a fucking apartment, and you're corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> So and now you're using the fucking media. You got media now. Dude, you yeah, got you're Matt running James. your media. Yeah. Yeah. And he does <laughs> have, like, within the people, our, our fan base, a strong contingent is, like, real supportive of Matt. Like, oh, I'm sure. Like, real, I'm like, sure. shut the fuck up, Shane. Matt knows what he's talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah. Dude, you have to watch the thing I watch. It. It's pretty, it's not bad. You watch it. It's, it's not too wild. Some of it goes off into, like, third planet sun shit and you're like alright this is fucking insane this yeah, is all that's this when stuff, it loses me though. this is stuff that happened in history and they're like this is why you know this is what happened yeah and there's also like some of those documentaries though some of it just seems totally I know this already yeah. it's not like a conspiracy to like what like, documentaries uh, what was that mass consumption or the uh, the one about advertising uh, not hyper normal uh, shit either way the entire documentary I was like yeah of course century of the self yeah, the entire time I was like, "This is, of course." You knew about Bernays and the like, PR firms and stuff. I knew about when it opens. I think this is the one that opens with how like Ford was selling shit to the Nazis. And no, Disney. that was a different one. That was the one about them Ford selling stuff to the Nazis and how Hitler kind of got. You know, everyone's like, "Well, Hitler kind of." Well, not I guess everyone doesn't defend Hitler in this way. But people are like, "Well, Hitler did help the economy." People do say that. They're yeah, like, really. It was just foreign yeah, money. Well, yeah, time, yeah. time, man of the year. It was money from the, it was just money from the Bushes and the Rothschilds, and they propped him up, just like America's been propping up dictators forever. Yeah, so like that didn't surprise me at all. I it's knew still that. insane to think that they made the Bushes made money off the Holocaust. 
That's yeah. fucking, America I made, didn't know that. America made money off World War One. That's where we became what we are. Yeah, I World hear that, and, and I'm like, all right, you know, we were selling stuff, and we got factories. It wasn't like they were supplying gas to the gas. No one's like, well, we they're sold a, We sold arms. We sold everything. Gas to the gas chambers, guns to both sides. Yeah, we sold everything to both sides. That's why we were neutral. We weren't neutral on some moral standpoint. We were neutral to make sure. money. Yeah. And then when the Japs fucking brought us into it, we had to fucking crack some skulls and drop some space-age bombs on... Yeah, the, the Japanese, we disrespected them. Dude. Oh, we, yeah, very dis- hard, honor, we came at them hard. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, what the fuck did we you rushed do, those dudes like, yo, your girl's hot. <laughs> that that's only that's only the we first like pull ups the whole time. <laughs> that's we're like, we're the, ready, dude. Yeah. That's the first hour of that. That which again, that's that's like nothing mind blowing, but it goes for that's setting the stage like these are these people's fathers yeah. and then there's the next generation. Here's what happened. And sure, then yeah. the guy who was financing the Holocaust his son started the CIA, and here's what they've been up to. And yeah, of course, it, they're not like. It's. I'm just saying that it's never surprising to me to know that the people who have billions of dollars got it through pretty much acts of, you know, extreme violence, definitely, and war against humanity, that, crimes yeah, yeah. against for humanity, for sure, definitely. And those same people own the news, so that's when you're like, yeah, that shit. They they own, and people are like, dude, you're ridiculous. It's right. like. It's not ridiculous. But it is not ridiculous. It's not. It's Nobody not wants to hear it, though. It's just, but it, because it's, it always, it always uh, sounds conspiratorial. Yeah, it sounds crazy. Because it's like, it is crazy. Yeah. So when you hear something that's crazy, people are quick to be like, that can't be true. Yeah. Because then my life's all fucked up. <laughs> you're just like, 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 everything I believe is fucking weird. You're around, saw, like, Little League's going well. It's almost like, yeah, dude, the CIA owns the news. You're like, come on, man. I don't see <laughs> Yeah, <that>. yeah, <laughs> yeah right. It's like, my fucking gay son just struck out again. I'm <laughs> yeah. pretty sure my son's gay. I don't <laughs> yeah, care about yeah. this. <laughs> don't tell me the fucking government's force-feeding it, me it my is, news, dude. It, it is bad, though. You know, that the, it, it's a bad thing. It is bad. It's a terrible thing. It's just, it's crazy. It's another one of those, it's like, well, what what can we possibly do just not watch it yeah and tell everyone like by the way you know don't pay attention to that and shit. that's and again without watching without delving too much into these documentaries i can still watch the news and be like oh this is bullshit mm-hmm. you can just yeah, flip yeah. channels and be like oh this is all there's an agenda on both sides yeah for sure yeah like without hard, and hard it's agenda, just like yeah. can we stop yeah yeah and and, and everybody because again you have to pick a side so now you get on social media and it's everywhere every single post is either super fucking liberal or mm-hmm. it's like every single one of our friends is like can you believe this is happening yeah, it's like of course it's happening <laughs> yeah it's been happening why are we like um michelle wolf's new show just had a fucking sketch about how ice it's actually one of the funnier sketches it they've is. done. It's ice smart is. Too. Yeah, ice ice is. is yeah but then it's like dude you're calling ice isis like these are fucking dudes that i know it's like maybe make fun of the people that organized it and like put it together, but not the fucking individuals working. That it's you're like, like look at these sacks of shit. Yeah, it's like making yeah. fun of trash men. Or make fun of the people that overly support it blindly. Like there's all there's always an easy. It is funny though. Yeah. Yeah. There's always an easy to find. What, what was the sketch man? itself? It's like ice is instead. It's ISIS. Yeah, yeah. So they're like ice is fighting for liberty. It's basically a holy Yo. war. They Remember last week ISIS. when I said the New York Times is running like positive articles about ISIS? Yeah. Then this week, what? Michelle Wolf? Just saying, dude. Now all of a sudden, dude, New York Times ran like two articles about like how ISIS isn't that bad last week. Now Michelle Wolf. <laughs> yeah, show. for real. They were now like, ISIS Wolf is installing show. law and order in the Middle East. Dude, like, all right, cool. it's insane. Now Michelle Wolf show is like yeah, kind of like. Dictators and tyrants do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of law and order. Yeah. <laughs> they also don't report crimes. Yeah, they come with a lot of ro- rules, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's a ton <laughs> a of lot of rules. The worst rules, Sharia yeah. law. They whipped them up into shape. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. And now real, her thing ICE like, is, and they're comparing ICE to ISIS. It's just, it's just so safe. It's just like not. That's true too. I don't, I don't know. I People just watch like, it like yes. You know. What? Yeah, buddy. But That's other, sick. Other you call that, that guy. Yeah, dude. You know. If you're gonna talk shit like that, I'm gonna call him every day till he gives me an answer. I might roll. I have his fucking office. I might roll up and be like, bro, what's good? Yeah, it's just that. You know how I mean, easy it would be for me to get a bunch of fucking dudes from Kensington and be like, guys, here's what we're doing today. We're gonna go to this motherfucker's address, bro. Talk shit. I'm going to show up just like the Haitians do to Hillary Clinton. Same thing. What do they do? The Haitians roll up on Hillary Clinton all the time. Damn, that sucks for Hillary Clinton. Yeah, dude. Just Haitians bothering you all the time because <laughs> of the atrocities you committed? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, that is quite the enemy, dude. Fuck. And people from Haiti coming up and protesting you. I was like, what the fuck are they so mad about? And you're like, don't look into don't it. Don't even bro. ask. Don't look into it. It's so fucked up. Don't look into it. Yeah. Also, too, I mean, that would be. That I wonder would, how true all that Clinton Foundation stuff is. I mean, dude, if you have Haitians coming in, fucking the Haitians, maybe they got tricked online. I don't know. You think they read about it? If you were Haitian, 
You'd be pissed. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. If you read about that, you'd be ticked. No, they were fucking. They, their family called them and was just like, "Bro, yeah, she fucking fucked my kids." And you're like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> like, what should I do?" And like, I don't know, dude. Go fucking. Here's her address. Go yeah, fucking just go start yell her. at her. Go fucking scream at her. It's probably a bunch of dudes with belts, dude, ready to fucking slap her, dude. They're probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. What What were some of the crimes allegedly? Uh, there was a. So allegedly there was a where the place was affected by all like the earthquakes and her all that shit that hit it. There was a textile mill built in the part that wasn't affected and like no one ever fixed any of the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just went down and built factories with the money. <laughs> they built factories with the money on the parts that weren't affected. And then there was people in trucks who would just pull up, who would just literally drive around and then fly away. And then like apparently they, they looked in the Clinton Foundation, they were just billing the Clintons like we did survey and they never built anything in the places where they did. Probably they did. They just didn't build that much shit, and for all the money, it doesn't add up. Allegedly, oh, that's it? I thought there was dark. And then, shit. and then, a Clinton aide was caught smuggling children out of Haiti, <laughs> and then people were like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And then the Clintons were like, "No, no, no, she's cool, she's cool." She's Why cool. do they love kids? I don't know, dude. It's, it, I don't think they love kids. I think the conspiracy is that the elites are fucking kids. I think the elites I don't think do that's fuck true. kids, though. I think that's always been a peasant's mindset about the elites. No, I'm pretty sure the like, least, the that's least. like what they used to say about the Jews. They'd be like, the Jews drink the blood of Christian babies. You know? Yeah. It's always been a very dumb peasant mind. It is. Like, they're fucking kids. Although Epstein's temple didn't really help. Epstein <laughs> was. kind of found the well, temple. The, Epstein, the problem is that, yeah, it is funny, though, because there, there is a lot of folklore, but Epstein was, in fact, fucking kids. And there was like a bunch of All super right, rich kids. But we do Jews. say kids. Come on. 13 year olds. All right, that's pretty young. That's pretty young. That's young. And like the That's very negligible. Super high profile peeps were chilling with this dude. There's no way he was like secretly just trafficking young Sniz and he just had these friends who weren't cool with it and he was like, Well, I'm just not gonna tell them about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't need to know about kids yeah. that I have in this. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Man. I'm on a whole other wave anyway, bro. What's I'm, the wave? I'm fucking nothing. What's the fucking wave? Constant right now? misery, dude. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, dude. That's the sickest wave. Yeah. It's funny too because I used to make fun of comedians for always being like, "I'm fucking depressed, bro." Like yeah. I say, it's like, nah, bro. Yeah. You don't you don't talk about it like that if you actually are. For real. You just grit your teeth and keep going through your shithole life. That's what I'm saying, bro. What's up? Steaming right along. Uh, we had to. We tried to record yesterday. Ever since I've gone to the city and become a big city boy, me and Matt, yeah. just, we're not on the same page. Nah, man, I'm trying to get a New York minute, dude. Yeah. It's tough. Is your dog biting you? No, he's just fucking, he's just going to throw up. <laughs> My dog is here. Shout out, Finn. Shout out. We gotta, this is a fucking crowded studio This is a today, crowded, dude. crowded studio tonight. It's and, uh, Well, today. And uh, so yesterday we tried to record. Things didn't go well. We ended up talking to how sick Trump was. For, <laughs> yeah. we, I, and I normally I'm there to pump the brakes a little on this, but I'm all I'm, well, you know all, I'm all bored the Trump change. You know what's funny? Hey, uh, we're back. No, you know what is funny? I remember like before we first started, you was, you would say certain things that I would just totally clam up on. You'd be like, you know, and I'd like kind of look at you like, if I just remain silent, I'm not connected with this. And then I was yeah, talking yeah, yeah. a lot yesterday where I'd watch look at you and you're just like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you're hitting, you're hitting QAnon. You're hitting yeah. breadcrumbs. I, mean, I, and... I basically accused Robert De Niro of being child molester. Yeah, you did. I looked it that. up today. It's it's not true, dude. It's not. Uh, it's he was he got quote unquote he got brought in in questioning relating with a an escort service that was rumored to have used younger girls. But it's like he was in France, but it's saying he was like I was only ever questioned. I wasn't I wasn't attacked. But he also might be a guy who just was getting hookers in France. Yeah, and got it's like he's he's. I'm not going to throw anyone under that bus. Dude. He's the man. He's like, you can fall under that. De Niro's the man. He's a fucking douche for yelling fuck Trump at the Tony. But Awards. I was wondering. I'm like, because it was so like, dude, he's he was a child molester. Someone said that, and I was like, what? And I he looked into was... it, and it was like, it's worst case scenario. He was ordering up young Sniz, and that's bad. Or he was just. Getting some whores, and he which got actually is in. sick. Depends when he, what year he was ordering young snizz. I think it was like ninety eight. That's, that's when he got that's brought borderline. In. You're not allowed to get, order young snizz anymore. <laughs> no, I mean he. No, the seventies like they 70s hung out with prime 16, yeah. young snizz. But, but, uh, no. but anyway, that's, anyway, that's, so you can deb I can debunk that. Is that that's I was up here just fucking destroying reputations last night. Yeah. <laughs>